Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to a very much requested episode To such a degree I'm getting messages from everywhere It's clear that it has something Well my grammar's uh, uh. It's totally gone, uh, my words are gone uh, I might even be having a stroke, who knows Who cares, let's start the video Alright guys, so famous singer Rihanna organised a lingerie fashion show. These are mad times we live in, mad! They are indeed. The more free women become, the more, you know I'm saying, they start exposing their bits and bobs. You are a disgusting person. But of course it's nice to see certain fashion gurus like Giorgio Armani saying it like it is mate. But what's even more messed up was that there was a track being played of somebody called Co Cuckoo Chloe. I'm just gonna pause right there, yeah. I swear cuckoo is an insult. Cuckoo or cuckoo. Like it's like call calling yourself Marvin the Moron. Ha ha and ha! Going back to the point, she's got this track here in which she has remixed a saying of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's an integral part of our faith, yeah, the hadith. And this woman has remixed it. And then lingerie models at Rihanna's fashion show were dancing to it. So people hearing this were like, what on earth is going on mate? So this hadith is, uh, the saying is about the day of judgment and she aptly calls it doom. So there's something really suspicious going on here and uh, those of you that know this industry, these sorts of marketing stunts, they're very well calculated. Yeah, those of you that saw the Paris Hilton uh, documentary, one of her uh, social media kind of uh, assistants or whatever you want to call it, the advisors is somebody, I think he's a Muslim as well called Shiraz Hassan. And one of his techniques is, uh, these artists actually call him, to do something that causes chaos, yeah? something chaotic that then ends up in the newspapers. And then you know because I'm known as Mr. Disruptor, Jake Paul's getting married you know and then of course like I say they call James Bond so they call me up and uh, you know I, get, I'm, I'm, I make the news. How do I make the news? I throw champagne on the wife. How do I do that? I pay someone ten thousand dollars cash to make it happen. Kim Kardashian the flower, that was orchestrated. Oh okay when she got the flower bomb on her? Of course, man. <laughs> she get upset though when she finds out that that was done just for a publicity stunt then? Media, brother, media. Why would you be upset with a hundred million dollars worth of free media? Um, so yeah, these are publicity stunts and they do happen and they're an integral part of Hollywood. So yeah, those people that are saying, nah, chance, and no. Because when it comes to remixing stuff, you know what I'm saying? I mean, us as YouTubers, we're very cautious about where we're getting our sound from and from who, let alone these people. Yeah, and then they're on top of that, Rihanna's playing it at her thing or her her team. I'm sure these people have properly gone over the content that they're using. What was brilliant was to see the Muslim community come together and give it the well-deserved uproar that it deserves. People should know you can't be, you know, disrespecting our religion like this, especially the Prophet peace be upon him. Yeah, and some non-Muslims know not to play games with the Prophet because he means a lot to us. That's why I love the Muslim community. You can't step out a line for man will stick it on you anywhere, online, you in your life, anything. Listen, you think you can draw Muhammad? You What's this, that? Listen, listen. That's what I like about them, you know. You see the, the moment Muslim someone... That's why you see when someone anyway. tries to put pen to paper and draw Muhammad? These men will come... You in. mad? What? Are you this, crazy, bro? Listen, this man will kick out every one of your last teeth. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, these people know. But whether you're a Muslim, whether you're not a Muslim, we are all benefiting from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And inshallah, uh, God willing, those of you watching, I do suggest that you research about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, from the Muslim sources. Yeah, because the Prophet made many supplications and prayers for us that we enjoy today. Many communities that came before us, they had much harsher living conditions but because the Prophet prayed for us, a lot of the freedoms that we enjoy are because of this individual. Yeah, So whether you're Muslim or non-Muslim, you still owe this individual a lot. So the least you can do and the least that we can do is treat this amazing individual 
with respect. And yeah, of course, uh, there have been statements that have come from Rihanna and Cuckoo Chloe apologizing, which is good. We appreciate that you guys have apologized and hopefully that will send out a message to the other people. Don't play games. Yeah, don't play games with Islam. And Alhamdulillah, I was proud to see that people came out. Obviously do it in a respectful way. Those people that are swearing and going crazy. No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's not how we do things as Muslims. Yeah. <inaudible> Invite all to the way of thy Lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching and reason with them and argue with them in ways that are most righteous. That's what Allah tells us in the Quran and that's the standard that we should be following. Let's leave it there until next time. <sighs> Assalamu alaikum.